Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I want to be teaching you how to download and install storage drawers in Minecraft 1.14.4. Storage drawers is a really cool mod that, as you can see, adds drawers to Minecraft that actually allow you to, like, you know, display what's on them and do all kinds of awesome stuff. I mean, this is a very in-depth mod. For example, you can right-click and insert a full stack into uh, that's in hand into the drawer or a partial stack if the drawer fills. You can double right-click to insert all compatible stacks, left-click to remove a single... There, there's so much stuff. As you can see, a half-size drawer stores four stacks, and all of this is just kind of outlined here, and it shows what's on the drawers, and you can upgrade them, and basically allows you to store a bunch of items very, very compactly and very, very, well, easily. So that is what's great about this, and uh, it's overall a really, really cool mod, especially if you uh, want to take your storage rooms to the next level and in a more efficient way. I mean, as you can see, four different items stored in that uh, place where a 2x2 two two chest would be, and they're all individually labeled and can be easily accessed and all of that stuff. So we're going to be going through all of that today, going through every single part of uh, basically getting this mod installed, getting it in game, and allowing you to play it in 1.14.4. But before we get on into it, let's go ahead and talk about our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS break in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to check out Apex, you can check them out at the first link down below. Again, that is the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. And be sure to check out play.breakdowncraft.com while you're at it. All that info is in the description as well. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get this installed. The first thing we want to do is go to the second link down below. And that's going to take you here to storage drawers. Once you're here, you want to click on the files tab here. And then you should have a 1.14.4 version. And how we can tell this is the name itself should have 1.14.4 in it. As we can see, storage drawers, that's 1.14.4. Right there it is. Then you can scroll over to the purple download button here, click on that, and it will take us off to the download page where we have to wait a few seconds and the download will automatically begin. There we go. Now we want to save this file on the bottom left. As we can see, do you want to keep this file? Yes, we do because it has storage drawers in the name. We can go ahead and click keep and it will save the file. Now if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it's popped up in the same screen asking you basically the same thing. Do you want to save the file? And yes, you do on Mozilla Firefox. Now we're not done just yet downloading. We still need to download Forge. Luckily, we have an in-depth tutorial on Forge here and I'm going to show you how to get this in this video and go through the entire step of installing Forge for storage drawers. However, if you do have any issues, this in-depth Forge tutorial will help you out and it's linked in the description down below. Once you're here, you do want to click on the green Forge download button here and it exalt to Forge's official website where we want to make sure we're on Minecraft 1.14.4. As we can see, it says MC 1.14.4 here. If it doesn't, just click the uh, 1.14 drop down over here. It should be like this. Click on that and then click on 1.14.4. Once it says MC 1.14.4 here, you're going to go under download recommended and click the installer button. So download recommended, installer there, and it will go ahead and download Forge in the bottom left. Now, again, we do need to keep this file as long as it says Forge at the beginning and ends in .jar, which ours does. We can go ahead and click keep. On Mozilla Firefox, it's popped up in the center of your screen. Go ahead and save Forge there as well. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And on our desktop, we have two things. We have storage drawers and we have Forge. If these aren't on your desktop, they're in your downloads folder. So click the little Windows icon it's in the top left for me, bottom left of your screen most likely, but click the little Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen and then type in downloads you then have this downloads folder here. Click on that and in here you will find Forge and storage drawers. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, go ahead and start off by installing Forge. Right click on it, click on open with, and then you should have a Java TM platform SE binary. If you do, click on it and click OK. But what if you don't, or what if you do and it just does not work? Well, no worries, we have a solution for you. You need to download Java for Minecraft mods, and this is exactly, this is in the description down below, this is exactly how to do it. It goes over every single step of downloading and installing Java for your Minecraft mods here. It goes through everything. It's a simple three-step process, and we even have a helpful video that will show you how to do that. Now, if you still can't open up Forge after you've done this, you need to run the jar fix. This basically makes all the jar files on your computer work with Java once again. It's a very simple and very easy to use program. And here you have an in-depth tutorial on how to use it and install it and basically run it. You don't even install anything. It just runs, makes it work, and then it deletes itself. It's pretty cool. But nevertheless, you can check this out in the description down below. Run the jar fix, and it'll fix all the jar files on your computer if you're still having issues after downloading Java. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Finally, we can right-click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary and click OK. That will open up this Forge mod installer here. We want to click on Install Client and click OK. Now we'll go through, download, and install Forge. At this point, the only reason you'll have an issue is if you haven't played Minecraft 1.14 with no Forge mods or anything installed. If you've played Minecraft 1.14.4 vanilla, then you're good. Otherwise, you'll need to go do that. But as you can see, it does say successfully installed Client Profile Forge. 
So we've done it correctly, and um, basically we've played Minecraft 1.14.4 vanilla and it installed successfully. Go ahead and click OK there, and now it's time to install Storage Drawers. To do that, again, we want to go to the Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, but it's probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon there, and then type in Run, R-U-N. You'll then have this Run application here. Click on that. And then it'll open up this, this handy little basically application with a text box in it. In this text box, you want to type percent app data percent percent app data percent and then click enter or hit OK. Once you've done that, it would open up a roaming folder here where you should have a dot minecraft folder. And then in your dot minecraft folder, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, what if I don't have a mods folder? Well, no worries. Don't freak out. It's all good. We're fine. All we need to do is create one. Right click in the right space anywhere you want. I'm gonna right click over here in this white space kind of on the left hand side, and then click on new, and then click on folder. Then you wanna name this folder mods, all lowercase exactly like that. Do not change it, it has to be mods all lowercase. Once, we, once you've created your mods folder, go ahead and double click on it, and then drag and drop storage drawers into that mods folder. Now we just need to open up Minecraft, make sure we're playing the correct Minecraft profile, and if we are, we're good. So once you're in Minecraft here, go ahead and click on installations, and then in here you should have a forge profile. As you can see, we do. Right here's a forge profile, and if you have one, just go ahead and click play on it, as long as it says 1.14.4 there. But what if you have a forge profile and it doesn't say 1.14.4, or what if you don't have one at all? Well, no worries, go ahead and click the plus new right up here in the top. Then you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our Minecraft server, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have great protected survival, medieval survival with over 25 quests, and aquatic survival with incredible slash shop based economy. We also have a custom Skyblock server with hundreds of players online every single day. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP linked in the description down below. There's all the information you need. But nevertheless, once you've named your profile here, we need to click on the version drop down box, right? Under version, click on this, this is a little drop down box. In here, you'll have release 1.14.4-Forge. You may have to search for it a little bit, but here it is, right? Release 1.14.4-Forge. I'm going to go ahead and select this one here because that's the recommended version of Forge. Once we've done that, I'm also going to change my resolution. That's so you can see once we get in game. And then I'm going to click create. Now we'll have this play.breakdowncraft.com profile running Forge 1.14.4. And we can come over and click the green play button on that profile. Now Minecraft 1.14.4 will open up with storage drawers installed. Now there's one thing I want to mention here, and it may do it to us, and if it does, that's great because I can show it to you in real time, but it may not, and basically Forge has a, a, a thing of hanging, basically not working, the first time you start up a mod in 1.14.4. Looks like we're fine here with this mod, but sometimes it'll just stop, like you know, halfway through the loading bar or something like that. And if it does that and it goes non-responding, no worries, quit out of Minecraft, Yes, close the program, that's what you want to do, and then it'll say Minecraft crashed. Then click play again on the profile, the Forge profile, and it'll work. So that is something that you might have to do if you are in 1.14.4 and having issues. But we can go ahead and click on the Mods tab here, and we do have Storage Drawers. And then if we want to, we'll go ahead and jump up and create a Storage Drawers real quick uh, world. And then we can jump in game and see how it looks. So I'll let this world generate and I will see you once we're in game. Here we are in Minecraft, world is loaded up. And if we go ahead and we're in creative and hit E, we'll be able to hit this little arrow up here. Then once we hit that little arrow, we'll be able to see storage drawers, as you can see. So here is all of the storage drawers options. There are so many. It is, it is just over, overwhelming how much there is in this. And as you can see, we've got compacting drawers. We can do upgrades. We can do like drawer keys to lock and unlock drawers. We've got more drawer upgrades and all sorts of stuff. So let's just go ahead and throw this down. Now, if we want to, in here, for example, we can go ahead and, oh, nope, my bad. Are we gonna, yeah, there we go. So you can just left click to place something in there and then right click to take it back out. So for example, if we wanna get like, um, I don't know, I'll just get some random blocks here. Get some of that, get some andesite. Um, I don't I don't want to get rid of any of the drawer stuff we have so yeah I'm just gonna take some get some coal and throw it down there So we've got that place that in there place that in there and There's actually 64 in there, right? So we can click it once to get one or I think shift click it to get it all Yes, exactly So shift click to take out an entire stack and then just click it one time to get one block So there's that and then we can go ahead and put the oak planks in that one We'll place down a few more of these like uh, of, of these drawers here Right, like so. And then I'll go ahead and put drawers in these, right? You can put drawers in these. There's also compacting drawers. So I think we can go ahead and put like a bit more of stuff into here. 
Maybe it's just like one item. Yeah, it's one item, but I think it'll fit more than 64 in there. So as you can see, there's different colors of drawers as well. For example, we've got that one. But on top of that, we do have this drawer, which I think holds a ton, but just of one item. So there's tons and tons of different options. And luckily, back on the mod page, if we go back over here, we will be able to see all of the, like, basically things, right, linked in the description here. It talks about all the different usage of this and everything that everything does. As you can see, a full-size one-by-one stores 32 stacks per drawer, whereas a two-by-two -two stores four stacks per drawer. It shows you different layouts here and all sorts of different stuff and even the compatible mods it's compatible with. So yeah, that's basically where you can get all of that information. But I don't think there's any denying that this is up and running in Minecraft 1.14. I even prove it's 1.14. We'll spawn ourselves in a panda because pandas are fun. Boom. There we go. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. We make incredible videos on Minecraft tutorials, all of that stuff. And then guess what? On top of that, on top of all of that, we also stream every single weekend. I can't wait to see you on stream. Can't wait to see you in more videos. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com. And I'm out. Peace.